Hey everyone, I'm going to start making some of these videos going over diagnostic codes on vehicles. That way, help the DIY guys out, help them maybe understand the system a little bit better. That way they can get things diagnosed uh, and figure out what's wrong rather than just replacing parts and, and take a shot in the dark. As well as the people that uh, have a vehicle, it's set a check engine light, they check the code. They're obviously not going to diagnose it, they're going to have to take it to the shop. And that way they can understand the system a little bit better and see that sometimes it's just not as easy as replacing the part. Uh, even though the OBD2 systems are getting much better and sometimes it is just as easy as pulling the code and replacing the part, other times it can turn into a nightmare. So what we're going to go over today is a P0096, P0097, P0098. The 96 is for a circuit range performance, 97 is a circuit low input, circuit or, and the 98 is a circuit high input. Uh, this is for a 6 liter power stroke, I think 2006, uh, but these can pertain to other uh, vehicles. I think these are kind of, um, I don't believe these are manufacturer codes, I could be wrong, but if you have a another diesel or gas engine, another brand, and it is setting the code like this, the wiring most likely will be very similar. Uh, I can't guarantee that it will be exact, but it will probably be similar. So. Right now we're going to start with the P0096 and you're going to first start out by surprisingly clearing the code uh, and then running tests again see if it comes back. If it is the only code that comes back P0096 then that is most likely your problem. If you're getting other codes you could be uh, having multiple things go on but today we're just going to focus on it if P0096 is your main code. Or write this there we'll go we'll move on to nine P0097 and then P0098 after we're done with 96 so you clear the code it comes back then what we're going to do is we're going to check over the wiring uh, in the engine bay you're going to check over the connector for the intake air temp sensor and the PCM connection just to make sure everything's good make sure everything's tight and nothing's obvious causing the concern uh, if all connections are good and nothing visibly is wrong, you're going to move on to driving the vehicle for about 10 minutes. And you want to pull up some data with your scan tool. And a lot of times you can get a cheap scan tool that hooks up to your, the OBD port and then Bluetooth to your phone and actually can get you some good data. So you want to pull up another temperature uh, sensor. Uh, this one's saying your engine oil temp sensor, you could pull up a ambient air temp sensor, you could pull up uh, engine coolant, something like that. That way when you're driving you see a change, you can just compare it. Uh, if, you know, that way you know what's, what's happening. So uh, if you drive for 10 minutes and the intake air temp sensor fluctuates, changes, uh, as you're driving, it'll most likely, if you're setting still at idle, it'll warm up. It'll start to heat up and get on the hot side. Uh, if you're driving on the road, it'll probably then cool down some. And uh, that, it, it, if the sensor is changing and fluctuating correctly, uh, it's going to be difficult to duplicate the concern at that point. If the temperature does not change at all from when you started, then you most likely have an intake air temp sensor that's gone bad. And you want to replace that and retest. Uh, from there, that we're done with P0096. That's pretty straightforward. Um, the next one we're going to go into is P0097. P0097, you're going to start out with easy. It's super easy. What you can do is clear the code. If P0097 comes back, disconnect it the connector from the temperature sensor. Then you'll go in with the scan tool, clear codes, run tests again. If you can't run a test again, it just it's just a generic one. What you want to do is it may not reset the code instantly because it it the computer really hasn't gone back into a test. The intake sensor maybe it will, but sometimes it doesn't. You may want to start the vehicle uh, and then let it run for a little bit, shut it off, turn the key back on, and then check for codes. If you get a P0098 after disconnecting that connector and rechecking for codes, then you most likely just have an intake air temp sensor that's gone bad. Uh, now if 
you did not get a 0098 and you still have a 0097 or you've now got uh, other codes to go along with it, who knows. If you did not get a 0098, then we're going to move on to uh, checking for a short to ground from pin 2 to ground. And, and I'll throw up a little makeshift oh, uh, oh, voltmeter, ohmmeter there showing you uh, what your uh, what connections should be made to test and so is the resistance greater than 10,000 ohms so basically what it's saying there is if you had like 0.2 ohms to uh, 50 ohms resistance then you most likely are shorted to ground if you're 10,000 ohms it's a, it's a or your meter reads OL out of limits then I highly doubt that you are short to ground and there's no issue there uh, if you again if you are reading some resistance you most likely have short to ground the most common on the 60 was uh, chafing on a, a stud and valve cover gasket or valve cover um, stud sometimes the uh, wiring harness can get stretched from there so then we're going to move on to um, at that point if uh, your resistance checks good and you're still getting the code after you've disconnected stuff and check things you want to pull your uh, connectors off again double check make sure you don't have a pin fit issue or anything like that and you possibly have a PCM that has gone bad and you may want to uh, take it to the shop have somebody double check you have a friend double check your work I, I've had to do that over the years just sometimes you can go down a rabbit trail on something and you just overlook something or you, you got got too far and you think you're diagnosed something worse and it's, you just missed something uh, there's also if you have a you suspect a PCM there's a lot of people that recondition PCMs you can call them and see if it's something they can repair okay we're gonna move on to P0098 P0098 we are going the first test with that is actually and I'll throw up a little picture here what to do you'll want to create a little jumper wire with a 5 amp fuse on it where you'll jump between the two pins on the intake air temperature sensor connector what you'll do then is turn your key on run your self test and by doing that you should get a P0097 and if you get that code a 0097 after putting the jumper wire in and checking codes then you have a intake air temp sensor that's bad uh, if you do not get a 0097 then you want to proceed to checking wiring uh, the next step would be uh, checking your signal return circuit for an open so you would check from pin 2 not signal return but signal uh, Oh, your, your voltage to the sensor from the computer so you check from uh, E for uh, pin 45 of the computer to pin 2 at the intake air temp sensor and you're going to check for resistance and that time you want uh, 5 ohms or less if you have more than that you most likely have a break in the wire now you could possibly have a chafe wire um, at that point with the two connectors disconnected the PCM and the intake air temp what you could do then is you could with uh, checking on one of the connectors you could go to the battery ground and if you have resistance to there you could possibly have a short to ground so is the resistance less than 5 ohms from uh, pin 45 to pin 2 or pin 2 to 45 we're gonna say yes if you don't, you have an open or a short, but we do have uh, less than 5 ohms. So we're going to move on to signal return circuit for an open, and we're going to test from pin 1 to pin 25. Is resistance less than 5 ohms? Uh, again, just like the last one, if you have over 5 ohms or you're, you're an excessive amount of resistance, you probably have a broken wire. Uh, then you could also test again take one of your leads off your connectors go to battery ground if you're showing resistance to battery ground and you had a high resistance on your wire and now you check to the battery and you have you know five ohms or less 
you probably have a shorter ground. But right now we're going to say that we have less than five ohms, that wire tests good. Then I'm gonna move on to uh, checking our signal circuit for a short voltage. So um, somehow, possibly, maybe we're getting voltage um, on the, oh, what wire is that? Let me look real quick. That is our red and white wire. So you want to, with the PCM disconnected and the intake air temp sensor disconnected, you want to check for voltage on your pin 2 and turn your key on. And if you are getting voltage there, um, even a small amount, uh, then you you have a short of power and you need to figure out where that's coming from. Do you have a chafe in the wire or something like that? But you have to have the... Uh, PCM connector disconnected because that is a 5 volt reference. If you're getting 5 volts and your PCM is connected, then it's working proper, properly. So is any voltage indicated with the PCM disconnected in the intake air temp sensor? I'm going to say no. So we do not have a short power. And at that point, we're going to be back at where we were before on our last test with our other code B0097 we're going to test pins again check for pin fit everything like that and we're going to uh, um, we're going to check for pin fit any corrosion anything obvious if we can't find anything like that we connect everything we're still getting codes we possibly have a PCM that's gone bad uh, again you can you can contact some companies that will test your PCM and I think there's even some YouTubers that, that do PCM repair, which is pretty cool. I'd love to get into it, but, you know, it's with uh, everything I got going on, it's hard to find time for that. But anyway, uh, I hope this helps everybody out. I hope it helps people that uh, need a little help understanding, testing on uh, some of these uh, sensors that go bad or some of the systems. Hopefully it helps you with this code. If you have any questions or anything, leave me a comment. If you have any ideas for uh, further videos, other codes that you may have questions about with the vehicle, uh, give me the make, the year, make, model, and engine of the vehicle, and let me know what that code is that you're getting, and uh, I'll see if I can make a video, give you some little information. That'd be pretty cool. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Later.